J-Lo has been everywhere because she is receiving the Video Vanguard Award at the MTV VMAs. Well, first of all, Kim, I, I feel like we've always said this, but she does not ever look bad. Can we talk about Jennifer Aniston's recent interview? What the f am I saying? All right, here we go. JLo has been channeling Jennifer from the block, Workout Jenny. You know what, Jennifer Lopez should be her own series of Barbie dolls because she has so many different looks. Silk pajama JLo, bun JLo, long ponytail JLo, Jenny from the block JLo, diamond hoop JLo. Am I not giving you enough options? Yeah, Workout JLo, I saw the photo. Everybody had such a problem with this look, I loved it. I love the denim over the knee boots and nothing gets me hot and bothered like a white button down crisp shirt, long sleeve shirt. Oh, and pantsless. There's no kind of J-Lo like a pantsless J-Lo. I need everyone to say pantsless six times at home and see how far you get with that. I love a silky pajama J-Lo. It means her bank account is full. Like there is not one dent in anything. She's just like, oh, I'm not fully getting ready today, but I'm like, just want to feel good. So I'm in like silk pajamas. She needs to bottle up whatever she's taking because it's abnormal. This woman is 49 years old in her stomach. Are you kidding me? I've literally tucked mine in different places into my pants that I didn't know existed. And she's like walking around with like eight apps. Here's the thing. I just want her to be in a more demure legging. JLo loves a print on her workout clothes. You wear this before the money comes in, not after. This is the one area of improvement JLo could have. A-Rod recently talked about a ring he got her. Honestly, in my personal opinion, if you want to know, since you're all here and filming this, I don't think these two are gonna get engaged. I don't think they need to define their relationship based on engagement. I think she's been married a lot of times. I think he's been married a lot of times. Is that true? They love each other. They don't need a ring to solidify anything. She has enough jewelry. You want a man for to pay your bills and to get you jewelry. If you have all that, you don't need a man. She's getting better looking. I don't understand what she is doing. Working out a lot? I work out a lot. Not that I'm not looking like that. She had the bob and then she was like, I wanna have long hair again. And I was like, no girl, keep that bob. You have that face you can have that hair. There's like a lot of perfection happen and I like the bob because it's modern and it's fresh and youthful. I love Chloe's bob. I'm gonna say, Chloe is the originator of the bob in the Kardashian clan. She was the first one to do the bob and she, you know what she does? Her bob is blonde. Bitches. I love her bob. I like Mila Kunis, I think she's beautiful. Her bob needs to be one inch shorter. It's kind of that like, I don't have time for a haircut because I got so many kids. It's like, we need to go one inch shorter or one inch longer. It's a kind of that mid-length soccer mom, AYSO, orange slices, no. It needs to be one inch above. Lose an inch, gain an inch, who's counting? Oh God, Jenna Duan, she's get to, oh, she gets it right. Is she like sleeping in the refrigerator? Why does she look so fresh all the time? Her haircut is the perfect length. She is tight and always perfectly styled and her face is flawless. I wanna throw something at her. I feel like it would throw something back at me. Like at her body parts or like her body because it's tight, not her body parts. That's weird. Haley, that ring, when you get that ring, it does wonders. You just all of a sudden are like, ooh, ooh, me, what is happening? Like I'm so beautiful. So beautiful flawless and she's never looked better and she's also never dressed better. She's like, bitch, I won that You know what I mean? We have similar shades. Hers is a little bit like her, but like, you know, like a little bit bigger. So you think Haley has the bob. Haley is the bob. If I were to make one person claim staker of the bob, it would be Haley Baldwin. And I'm still wearing a damn ringlet, so that's weird. I mean, she is literally saying that women have been harder to her in this industry than men. And I say, you know what, go bitch. It's true, women are vicious. Not me though. And I love that she is just clapping back and saying, you know what, guess what? My only purpose on this planet is not just to have a baby because I'm making millions of gazillions of dollars. I'm hanging out with Courtney Cox. First, with all due respect, she's not heartbroken. And yes, I knew the second that her and Justin Thoreau split up, I knew that neither one of them were heartbroken. They had a relationship. They were in love for a short while. And guess what? They're not anymore. And so they're gonna be friends and they're still gonna go to their multi-million dollar home separately and they're gonna make it work. It's fine. People can be married and love each other and then that love can evolve into being friends or having a different kind of relationship. And the second you, want, you don't wanna sleep with somebody, anymore, it's over. You know what I mean? Like if my husband starts coming near me, I'm like, Ugh, then I'm leaving. It's true. And like, that just happens in marriage anyway. Like when he's like, are you leaving? I'm like, as soon as I can. And then I call him and I'm like, can you bring me a water? <laughs> There's no reason to feel bad for Jennifer Aniston. She's beautiful, she's talented, she's very rich, and she has a lot of real friends and people love her. And she looks flawless. She's like meditating in the morning. She's a meditator. And you know what else she is? She smells good, you can tell. I have never seen a better pedicure in my life. So whoever did those nails on that set, I'm gonna contact you when I'm rich and famous. Her nails are perfect. I have been very hard on my nail ladies lately because sometimes I'm getting a ridge or it's like crook. I'm like, bitch, what are you doing? Let's fix off. This isn't gonna make me sound nice, but I'm very polite. I also need to get my Uber rating up. Should we just rant about everything in my life that's wrong? What to do after watching that amazing clip? You need to subscribe to the YouTube 
channel. You need to subscribe to the E2 YouTube bitch too. Nope. You need to subscribe to the E YouTube channel to get more necessary realness and other hot topics. You would not want to miss a single episode. Oh, you're screaming at me in front of people? That's f insane.